Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again, and to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did. I'm planning to make uh, two accounts for TikTok and Twitter, and I really hope it works for me in the long run. I'll just cut to the chase. Sidra, real name inapplicable. Height, 866 feet, weight, 96,000 tons. Status, villain, and enemy of Kaijericas. Base, mobile, intelligence, five brains. Behavior, destructive, menacing, and sneaky. She would always enjoy destroying every opponent in sight. Lethality, as of above, above. Weaknesses, malfunctions. Powers, she has the same powers as Queen Kaidra, along with a regeneration system, and can project electricity from her mouths. Eyes glowing red, hair none. Origin, one time. Neron decided to make a robot version of Queen Kydra to destroy Kydericus. After a while of building, she was named Sydra and flew out to start spreading catastrophe across Las Vegas, where Kydericus eventually traveled to defeat her. During the fight, Sydra almost killed Kydericus, if not for Colossa to arrive and crush Sydra under her thumb. When that happened, her system went berserk until Sydra gained the power to turn against Neron. Nowadays, Sydra would normally be a notable ally of Queen Kydra whenever it's needed. Costume. She's made of a nuclear resistant metal. Team Solitary with Queen Kydra and other villains. Original inspiration Toho's Mega King Ghidorah. Here's the other character Cranium. Real name Unrevealed. Height 6 foot 1, weight 198 pounds. Status Anti Hero and Expert Mercenary. Base Mobile, Intelligence 3 Brains. Behavior Tough and stubborn. She only cares about gaining respect. Lethality. Extremely deadly to anyone who crosses her path. Weaknesses, rejection, and migraines. She's also scared of water. Powers, she has immortality, martial arts, and is an expert swordswoman. Her head is forever detached from her body, which she uses like a dodgeball. She always travels on her black horse named Blackout, who could run at the speed of light, make hazardous leaps, and phase through solid objects. She's also skilled at tracking down almost any target. Eyes deep green, hair golden, and shoulder length. Origin. During the Revolutionary War, there was a British woman who was a deadly soldier. During the battle, a cannonball was fired, fired at her head, immediately killing her via decapitation. Many years later, Tyranitar and her sinful six members learned of such a warrior and decided to resurrect her in another attempt to destroy Madame Shear. With their combined efforts, they successfully brought Cranium and her steed back to life, and they convinced her to help them with their mission. Soon. Cranium was the second person to defeat Sheer, but found that she didn't matter much to the Sinful Six, and she eventually decided to turn against them. Nowadays, Cranium would do any means necessary to gain respect. Costume. She wears the same uniform that she died in. Team, solitary, or with others. Original inspiration, the Headless Horseman. I hope you enjoyed those uh, two videos, the two characters and such. And if you guys want, you can like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. You know how it is. Hope you guys have a decent rest of the month, and until next time, transmission.